हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ ऑटोमोटिव मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी माय सेल्फ विमल सलोत फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मिलिंग मशीन इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ऑपरेशन विच कैन बी परफॉर्म्ड ऑन मिलिंग मशीन mainly there are three types of the milling machine that is horizontal milling machine vertical milling machine and universal milling machine so let us start with horizontal or plane milling machine so here photographic view and its block diagram both are shown let's see what are the different parts of this machine and what is the function of each and every part so this part of the machine is known as the base here in this diagram it is shown here it is base of the machine the main function of the base is to support all other parts of the machine and some and in some machine it is also serves the purpose of reservoir for the coolant so coolant is stored in this base and whenever it is required it can be used next part is known as a column here in photographic view you can see it is vertical member in block diagram it is shown here so on one side of the base column is mounted it is a vertical structure at the front face of the column so here it is the front face of the column and in this diagram it is the front face of the column so on front face of the column guideways are provided and on this guideway this member is supported it is known as the knee column houses the driving mechanism and feed mechanism for the table and for the spindle a top part of the column overarm is mounted this part is known as a overarm it supports the other end of the arbor or the spindle so it is overarm and it is extended beyond the face of the column next part is known as a knee here it is shown here it is knee it is also a casting of gray cast iron this knee can be moved up and down so it is a vertical movement of the knee which is possible so on the guideways of the column the knee can move in vertical direction this part is known as the elevating screw so by the help of this elevating screw it can be moved in vertical direction at the top of the knee these guideways are provided on which saddle is mounted this part is known as the saddle on the guideways this saddle can be slide here there are three movements which are possible for the feed that is longitudinal cross and vertical all the three movements can be provided to the table and by that way to the work piece the top face of the saddle are highly machined and on the saddle table is mounted so this part is known as the table and it is the hand wheel by which we can provide longitudinal travel or longitudinal feed to the table or the work piece at the top of the table it is highly machined surface and t slots are provided which will be helpful to mount the work piece rigidly on the table this part is known as the spindle and it is extended over here spindle is provided rotary motion and this part is known as the arbor arbor is supported at the other end by this arbor support so it is arbor support to provide the rigidity and it is a milling cutter which is fixed on this arbor as per the requirement we can adjust 
the position of this milling cutter on this arbor with the help of the spacing collar so these are the main parts of column and knee type milling machine next type of milling machine is vertical milling machine the main difference of horizontal and vertical milling machine is that in case of vertical milling machine the axis of the machine or the axis of the spindle rotation is vertical function of each part is similar as we discussed in case of the horizontal milling machine next type of milling machine is known as universal milling machine as we discussed in case of horizontal milling machine we can provide three types of the feed to the work table that is longitudinal cross and vertical but in case of universal milling machine one additional movement can also be provided to the table that is we can swivel the table to 45 degree in either direction either side so it would be enable the machine to perform some another milling machines operations also like helical gear cutting or bevel cut gear cutting that can also be cut on the universal milling machine as compared to horizontal milling machine this machine is more rigid and particularly used in tool room or for this now basically there are two types of the milling methods or machining methods that is up milling and down milling let's see the comparison between these two methods so this method is up milling and it is known as the down milling so in case of up milling we can see the direction of the cutter rotation it is shown here it is rotating in this direction in anti clockwise direction and the feed for the work table or feed for the work piece is shown here so milling cutter is fed in opposite direction to the direction of the feed of the work piece but in case of the down milling the cutter rotates in this direction and work is also fed in this in this direction so milling cutter is rotating in the same direction as the direction of the feed of the work piece it is a chip which is which is shown here so at the initial cutting position we can see it is start of the cut and it is the end of the cut actually it is shown here but this view is the magnified view so at the start of the cut chip thickness is minimum but at the end of the cut it is maximum here at the start of the cut the, the chip thickness is maximum and it reduces to minimum at the end of the cut in case of up milling the cutting force is minimum at the start of the cut and it is maximum at the end of the cut in case of down milling the cutting force is maximum at start of the cut and it is minimum at the end of the cut in case of up milling as milling cutter is rotating against the direction of the work piece feed it will try to lift the work piece from its position but in case of down milling as the milling cutter rotates in the same direction as the direction of the feed it will try to fit the work piece on the fixture itself in case of up milling it is somewhat difficult to provide the coolant at the cutting zone but in case of down milling it would be easier in case of up milling as we have discussed at the start of the cut minimum thickness and end of the cut it is maximum so some chips may be gathered over here and it may affect the surface finishing of the work piece but in case of the down milling the surface finishing is better in spite of having all the disadvantages 
of this up milling it is a safer milling process in comparison so mostly this type of milling process up milling process is used in general practice so it is also known as conventional milling machining process now let's see what are the different types of the operations that can be performed on milling machine first type is plain milling it is a operation to produce flat and plain surface it would be parallel to the axis of the rotation of the cutter so here it is cutter and it is workpiece so by using a plain milling cutter this type of operation can be performed in case of face milling second operation is face milling so face milling operation can be performed by face milling cutter and the axis of the rotation of the cutter is perpendicular to the face of the workpiece so we can machine the end of the workpiece by using face milling cutter next type of operation is known as side milling operation so it is a workpiece and it is a milling cutter so by this type of operation we can finish or we can machine one end of the workpiece the cutter used is known as side milling cutter but if we want to machine simultaneously both the end of the workpiece that can also be performed by using two milling cutter on the same arbor and that type of operation is known as straddle milling next type of operation is angular milling other than horizontal or vertical surface if you want to produce angular surface then that type of operation is known as angular milling the cutter used is shown here and it depends on the angle included here how would be the included angle for the work piece so it is an example of production of v block here this angular milling cutter is operating and this type of this shape will be produced in this block it is known as angular milling operation next type of milling operation is gang milling operation more than two cutters can be fitted and more than two surfaces simultaneously can be machined by using gang milling cutter so all these cutters are fitted on the common spindle and the distance between the each and every cutter is adjusted by the use of spacing collars on the arbor then form milling operation we can produce any required shape by using form milling cutter so it is the cutter which will be used and same shape would be produced on this job and it can be checked by using a template form milling next type of operation is end milling the cutter used is known as end milling cutter we can produce slot it may be open slot or close slot by using the end milling cutting operation in case of saw milling operation the cutter used is known as saw milling cutter so we can cut a narrow or slit type of slot or we can also part of completely the workpiece by using saw milling operation next operation is keyways grooves and slots so all these operations can be performed by using a respective type of the cutter we can also cut t slot by using t slot cutter then we can also cut the uh, keyways uh, as it is shown here so this type of plain milling cutter is used to cut the keyway in the workpiece most important operations which can be performed is gear cutting operation on the blank we can cut the gear tooth at equal distance and for that 
we have to use universal dividing head that operation is known as the indexing by which we can rotate the blank in such a way that each and every tooth will be cut at equal space so that type of operation is known as the gear cutting operation and we can produce the gears as per the given module and diameter and number of teeth on the milling machine thank you very much for watching